Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. A um, quick update, really just to confirm the um, ongoing scenario, which doesn't need to change at all here. Um, we talked in the previous video here about the ideal scenario that we would make here a lower low you know, compared to the wave three. And actually on the roadmap here, it shows that we should also ideally make a lower low here than a uh, lower low than 38 and a half cents from the 12th of May. So it seemed a bit unrealistic because it was holding so well. But yesterday when we broke out of that bearish flag, um, yeah, I think that was sort of the confirmation high likelihood that we would in fact go down here. Um, but it wasn't going down very strongly. Um, and the Elliott wave count suggested after, by the way, after we reached here, we reached two target areas. We reached a target area for the wave four and the wave two perfect reversal in these areas. And then from the wave two high, I gave you the target for the wave three down there in yellow. And that would be the 1.618 Fibonacci extension. And that would take us to around about 39 cents. So we, we're still waiting for that. Yeah. Um, but the direction is correct. Yeah. And again, the way this is coming down here to me confirms that this is a wave three very, very impulsive, very strong, often the ba most bearish or most bullish wave, depending on into which direction it goes. And the target would just be the 1.618 extension. Now that would be 39 cents. And the fact that we broke below the wave three low confirms to me that the wave four high is finished here. And that is, that means to me that we're actually in that wave five down here in purple. Um, which yeah which works out so overall all going according to plan here at the moment on the ada chart um good to see that it's finally following the primary expectation throughout this whole move up i've been telling you that my primary expectation is still down and everybody was getting bullish everybody's like i'm not considering the vasil hard fork all of these things but I told you that in, in a bearish market environment, we might not get a Vasil hard fork run. In fact, that might have been the Vasil hard fork run and we might now get the, um, we might not get, get a little bit of disappointment. And that is what you can see here in the chart. And in the end, I made you aware of this head and shoulders pattern. Now, in fact, we've got a very, very small right shoulder at the moment. Yeah. Um, with a neckline being here around, yeah, 45 cents. Now that broke to the downside now. Purely, you know, let's say if we really have here the 45 cent level as the neckline, I mean, purely taking the the ugly head here, yeah, as a target um, and measuring it from the breakout point at the 45 cent level, this would take us down to round about the 23 cent level. Now, I don't think this is going to happen personally, but never say never. And again, as long as we are in a downtrend and we don't see a bullish structure, we are going further down. So at the moment, uh, we, we never really saw here bullish structure. And also I've been remaining very, very skeptical about this move up. So <clears throat> that move down here is sort of um, just confirming what I told you really. And it, it would be, you know, if, if we look at this move down here, this is currently already, we had a wave one down, we had a wave two up. We had a wave three down, a wave four up. And we are now in the wave five down and that wave five made a lower low compared to the wave three here on the 13th of June. So from that point of view, all good. The only problem is that we can't really count the yellow count here with five waves. So we want to see um, the wave three complete. I think that's gonna fall, fall a little bit lower probably. Um, then we wanna see a wave four up and the wave five down. That would then complete the uh, overall wave count here. And ideally this goes below 38 and a half cents, which the wave three could definitely do. Yeah. Um, or it might just get about there. And then the wave four up and the wave five down will then be really that last wave down. And uh, yeah, we might be in capitulation at the moment. Honestly, we might be the way that uh, it's going on with Bitcoin here. Um, it's uh, certainly an interesting weekend. And um, yeah, but what else can I tell you about ADA? I think this is really what we've been talking about in previous videos. It's following primary expectation. It's broken the head and shoulders. It's broken the bear flag. It's following the Elliott wave count. It's in the yellow target area here between the 88.7% and the 78.6% FIB level between 80 and 50, uh, sorry, between 30 and um, 54 cents. 
which is the ideal reversal area for such a higher level correction of an altcoin. We are in it still, we're holding quite well, but there is still downside potential and even space to fall in this target area. Yeah, this target area stretches down to around about 29 to 30 cents. And um, the 29 cent level is the 88.7% FIB level. And that is the, le the level where at the latest ADA should turn around and reverse to the upside. No guarantee. Yeah, it can, as long as we're in downtrend, we're in a downtrend. But we look here at probabilities. And um, here, ideally, you would expect it to turn around in a wave two. Now, if it goes lower, that would still be covered by a wave two scenario, but it is not a level where you would actually expect in such a correction uh, any asset to get into because it's a bit too low but we need to be open to the idea that it's even dropping further than we actually expect even. Um, but that yellow target area that you can see on the screen is just the area with the highest likelihood for a reversal from a higher level point of view. And very importantly, the lower level wave count actually um, matches that fairly, fairly well. Um, and yeah, so it's going down. Let's take a look actually at the AWTC chart. We did that earlier today. Um, also here we actually saw a trend reversal and we still see a trend reversal continue. No? So that's really good. So a while ago I gave you this target area in green also between the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6. I mentioned that in the previous video um, to see actually a reversal of ADA against Bitcoin. And we've seen that and we are moving higher. And even now that ADA is dropping, we still see ADA compared to Bitcoin go up. And we need to be aware this happened before, yeah, but um, we've never really made a higher high. So we need, we need with this move up ADA against BTC, we need to make it higher than the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level here at 2720. We need to get above that level. I think that would break the imminent downtrend. And then we can be more optimistic that ADA is starting a real uptrend. Um, so it's a 61.8% FIB level here above 270. Um, to zero. Okay, so very, very important. Um, overall, here on the AWTC chart, the four day chart, which is very important, has already a while ago moved up. You know, strong bullish divergence on the MACD, so it's all pointing in the right direction, really. Um, and yeah, so we just need to wait here now how this is playing out. I'd be quite confident above the 61.8 that really we might see a reversal here for. For ADA, and if you look at that ADA compared to BTC, it's going in the right direction, really. Um, also, considering the Vasil hard fork against BTC, it is going up. But I think some people actually expected new all time highs due to the Vasil hard fork. But what I told you is it is a very important hard fork, but it's not like I th it felt Alonso was a bigger thing. Alonso, yeah, and um, also there's another hard fork planned for later in the year which might lead to another run. Okay, and that is my view here about um, ADA. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.